Well howdy there y'all, Yamasaki here. Welcome back to the channel. And today, we're gonna to be taking a look at this really nice chainsaw. This is the Still MS261C, so stay tuned. MS261C. This was given to me by my dad. He got it for my birthday because uh, I don't know if you guys can see we got a lot of logs lying around here and uh, that's due in fact that we've got a whole bunch of trees over there that need to be cut down because they're getting real dangerous and we have a few chainsaws and I will go ahead and show you that those in a different video but today we're going to be looking at this one and we're going to be making some cuts um, we got this one mainly because all the other saws just aren't up to par with what we need. And so my dad went to an actual chainsaw shop and they recommended this bad boy. So I've never handled a chainsaw this powerful before, but uh, we're going to see how it works. It has never been tested at all. So this chainsaw has a few details about it that make it really special. Um, the C I found out stands for comfort and uh, I did I have fired this saw up a couple of times because I had to let it run and get broken a little bit but um, the C stands for comfort because it's it doesn't have a lot of vibration or anything like that and my dad also explained that this has an electronic computer system on it that adjusts the carburetor um, just out of the blue when it needs to um, there's no adjustments for the carburetor anywhere, as you can see. Um, there's not much to it. You've got your traditional handle down here, your safety trigger. You've got your on-off switch. You've got your pull start and your spots to fill your oil and gas. And that's it. And your brake. It's got a nice dog on it here. And we'll take the shield off. And I actually love the way that this bar looks that is a beautiful bar I believe I think that's a 20 inch so it's a pretty hefty bar just out of the box but uh, it only takes a few times to pull it and we're gonna go ahead and cut this log in half because we're trying to make bench stumps for some benches for the bonfire pit over here so let's give her a whack He's giving her a whack. I'm here. I'm not queer. You can hate on me, I don't care. He's really struggling with this. It's definitely struggling, this is weird. You got gas in her? Oh, yeah. She on the right setting? Yeah, there's nothing to it, Mikey. It's just you got On first impressions, this thing is awesome. That cut through this is probably, what do you think, Mikey, a foot and a half? It's more than that. Probably almost two feet, because this is a 20 inch bar. I'm gonna guess it's probably, I mean, from here to here, 
that's probably three feet right there but it cut through that and on first impressions that is a that is that is a powerful saw 50 cc's he's like a gerbil on crack right now <laughs> um it's four horsepower so that's a pretty hefty saw um, I didn't cut all the way through because you don't want to hit your chain in the grass or in the dirt. You screw it up. You really do. So that's the first log and I, like I said I didn't cut all the way through so I'm just going to have to take one of the lawn tractors or something and just hit it real good. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to figure out which one of these bad boys we are going to cut next. So stay tuned. So, got the chainsaw right here, and uh, I chose that this is going to be the next one to cut, because like I said, I'm trying to make some stumps. So I got to cut this guy and, uh, right there, and then that'll leave me enough room and I can cut it straight and make it a flat surface, and that'll make for a good stump. Um, might cut that one. That one I'm saving, that big one over there I'm saving as an anvil still. Because, uh, we got plenty of other wood, big wood, but uh, I think these are the biggest chunks that I'm going to get out of all this firewood. So, without further ado, let's get to it. to cut this just yet. I'm going to do that off camera um, because I'm just trying to get the rough shape of all these stumps here. So my honest impressions guys, this chainsaw is no joke. If you need an actual saw that's relatively inexpensive, if you can save up for it, probably should. Um, like I said in the beginning of this video, I've never operated a saw this powerful before, um, or nice, that <laughs> this is crazy. This is a crazy amount of power, and I don't know if you guys saw that, if I mentioned that, but that is a decompression lever. You press it in, and then as soon as you start it up, it pops back out. Um, this is a really high-tech, yet really simple chainsaw. <laughs> it's crazy. It's... I mean, it, my dad got it all fueled up, all oiled up, so this chainsaw is ready to go, and it's going to do some work. So, would I recommend the Still MS261C? Yes, I would. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, but before we get out of here, Mikey, do you have any um? thing to say about this chainsaw I know you didn't you didn't chop any but uh, you did hold it and you did rev it up so what do you what do you think of this thing hello sorry I just saw my car taillights turn on well that's that's interesting Mikey are you there are you, the question are you there but um the chainsaw what do you think about the still MS 261 C Well, we all know Chainsaw go blah. Yeah. She loud. Oh, yeah. She's mean. Yes. She's not green. No. But she's the fighting machine. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. Uh, the serial number is whoa, 541. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, what are you doing there, Mikey? That is that is my chainsaw until I die. What's your social security number? Don't have one. Do you have time to talk about your car's extended warranty? No, we don't. No, we don't. It's Anyways, free real guys, estate. Did you know? Anyway, guys, don't forget it's to like, subscribe, and comment for more content. And Yamasaki out. We'll see y'all later.